Hi, I'm Pat Morrissey, Director of Corporate Communications for General Motors. Thank you for joining us today for some exciting news about GM's commitment to manufacturing right here in the United States of America. Investments that will maintain positive momentum on our core products and continue our progress towards an all-electric future. Now, we typically host large in-person events and celebrations, but today, in order to keep everyone safe and healthy, we are taking a little different approach. I'm here at GM's assembly plant in Spring Hill, Tennessee, but today we will hear from several people in various locations who will help us celebrate some great news for our employees, our customers, and our communities. To get things started, we're going to hear from G GM Executive Vice President of Global Manufacturing, Gerald Johnson. Now, Gerald's message, as you will see, comes to us from GM's Factory Zero plant in Detroit, Michigan, where the plant is currently under construction as it transforms to produce zero emissions, all electric vehicles. The Factory Zero plant, where Gerald is speaking from, will begin producing EVs late next year. Following Gerald's remarks, you're going to hear from Terry Dittus, UAW Vice President, GM Department. It's now my pleasure to introduce Gerald Johnson. Hi, thanks for joining us today. I have the distinct pleasure of sharing some exciting news about General Motors and how we're changing our manufacturing footprint. And better yet, we're doing it in a big way right here in the United States. We're investing in U.S. manufacturing to ensure we can build the vehicles our customers love today, as well as lead the transition to an all-electric future. I've often said that whatever the customer wants, we at General Motors can build it. Today's investments enable us to do just that. GM is investing more than $2 billion in six manufacturing facilities across the United States. These investments directly benefit our plant teams, enabling them to produce world-class quality vehicles. Everyone in our plant knows that manufacturing is a team sport, and that's why it's so, I'm so excited to be joined by the manufacturing teams in our plants, the UAW, the community leaders, and government officials. We don't succeed without all of us, the entire manufacturing team. The team leaders and group leaders, the trades people, manufacturing engineering, material drivers, quality team members, our communities at large, every one of us. Thank you for supporting our plant communities and for helping make today's announcements possible. As you know, our manufacturing teams and our communities have continued to adapt and thrive during the most challenging year any of us can remember. These investments will accelerate that momentum. So let's get to the headlines. First, we're investing $2 billion in our Spring Hill, Tennessee assembly plant to enable the team to produce electric vehicles, beginning with the Cadillac Lyric. With this investment, Spring Hill will become GM's third vehicle manufacturing site producing electric vehicles. Joining Factory Zero in Detroit and our Orient assembly plant, home of the Chevy Volt EV. We are also investing $150 million across five Michigan plants, led by $100 million going to our Lansing Delta Township facility to build the next generation GMC Acadia. You'll hear more details on these projects later in the program, but I'm proud to affirm our commitment to manufacturing in the U.S. These investments also represent the next strategic steps in General Motors' commitment to an all-electric future, a future we envision with zero crashes, zero emissions, and zero congestion saving the planet, saving lives, and saving time. This move to EVs and autonomous vehicles is a fundamental shift in personal transportation, and General Motors will lead the way. We want to put everyone in an EV, and we have the technology, the manufacturing expertise, and global scale to do it. And most importantly, we have the right people to accomplish the goal. Building vehicles is full of challenges. Our processes are complex requires thousands of parts and every team member doing their jobs flawlessly every 60 seconds. It is our way of life in manufacturing. We solve problems, we adapt, and we innovate. These investments enable us to do all three. And just like our vehicles, the people on our manufacturing teams are transforming to build that future. I'm proud to be a part of manufacturing. To me, there's no better day than one spent in a manufacturing plant. GM is driving to build a better world, one that is safer, more sustainable for all of us. And in manufacturing, we get to build it. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce Terry Dittus, UAW Vice President, General Motors Department. Thank you. Hi, my name is Terry Dittus, UAW International Vice President and Director of the General Motors Department. 
The auto industry is changing every day with the introduction of more electric vehicles in the marketplace. And sometimes we in the union are challenged by these changes. Currently, we build the Chevy Bolt with members of Local 5960 in Lake Orion Township, Michigan. And we also support the EV projects with members of Local 174 in Brownstown, Michigan. Now, we have had many conversations with General Motors over the years about integrating electric vehicles with gas powered. Currently, UAW Local 22 at the Detroit Hamtramck plant, which is now Factory Zero, is going through a major transformation in order to build the electric Hummer. And also, the Lake Orion Township facility will be building an additional electric vehicle along with the Chevy Bolt. But why I'm here today, after many months of negotiations, is to announce to you that the GM Spring Hill, Tennessee plant, represented by UAW Local 1853, will be building the all-electric Cadillac Lyric. This is a big investment for this facility, and it is great for our families and all the workers there. We will expand the paint shops and the body shops and have massive overhaul in the General Assembly lines. These are just some of the examples of how we, General Motors and the UAW, are together putting these plans together for the future. We will continue to have these discussions about investments in our UAW GM locations. So our members, along with General Motors, can continue to build the finest vehicles in the world, right here in the USA. Thank you, and be safe. Thank you, Gerald and Terry. Now, this is great news for GM and manufacturing in the US, but it's huge news for our team here in Spring Hill. To give us a little more detail on what this means for the plant team here, I'm joined here in Spring Hill with Phil Kenley, GM Vice President, North American Manufacturing, Jeff LaMarche, Spring Hill Plant Executive Director, and UAW Local 1853 Shop Chair, Danny Taylor. Phil, can you give us a little more detail on what this investment means for the team here in Spring Hill? Sure, thanks, Pat. Congratulations. It's my pleasure to be here in Spring Hill to share this great news for our manufacturing team members and the Spring Hill community. I used to work in Spring Hill, so I understand this plant's unique history and what makes it so special. Some big changes are coming to this plant that will enable the team to continue their legacy for being innovative and build upon heritage of producing vehicles with both outstanding safety and quality. As Gerald mentioned, General Motors will spend $2 billion to enable this plant to build multiple electric vehicles, including the all-new Cadillac Lyric, which we are very excited to have with us today. This game-changing luxury EV will be built on GM's all-new module electric vehicle architecture, powered by the Altium drive system. Renovation and construction work at Spring Hill will begin immediately, including significant expansions of the paint and body shops. The General Assembly area will also receive comprehensive upgrades, including new equipment, conveyors, controls, and tooling. You may be wondering about the products currently produced at Spring Hill, the Cadillac XT6 and XT5, and the GMC Acadia. Here's the plan. XT6 and XT5 production will continue at Spring Hill and will be built alongside the all-new Lyric EV and other new EVs. Production of the next generation Acadia will move to Lansing Delta Township. Deneen McDowell will share more about Acadia's move in a moment. It's an exciting time for Spring Hill. More than an investment in the people and the plant, it's an investment in our collective future. I'm proud to be part of the team that's transforming personal transportation. Thank you. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Jeff LaMarche. Jeff? Please. Thank you, Phil. So this would be an exciting announcement on any day, but if you consider the fact that it's been almost 30 years to the day since this plant began production, today's announcement becomes even more significant. Our plant began production as a different kind of car company, and now with this news today, we will be building a different kind of car. The first vehicle ever produced here was born out of an innovative idea for small car production and an innovative union management arrangement. Decades later, that arrangement is still going strong 
and so is our tradition on being on the leading edge of the automobile industry. Adding electric vehicles to our portfolio creates a more direct line of sight to GM's vision of a future with zero crashes, zero emissions, and zero congestion. It also helps provide a long-term future for our plant and for our workforce. Clearly, this is a defining moment in the history of Spring Hill manufacturing. And we're proud to help lead the way to an all-electric future. It's a beautiful product, and we can't wait to get started. And now it's my pleasure to introduce the chairman, UAW Local 1853, Mr. Danny Taylor. Danny? Thank you, Jeff. Yep. Welcome. I'd like to thank the International UAW and General Motors for selecting our team to build this world-class vehicle. We appreciate your confidence in local 1853 Spring Hill Manufacturing team members. Today's announcement is energizing because it represents a new era in transportation, and we are honored to be at that forefront. We are building everything with pride here, and we will do the same with the Cadillac Lyric. Plus, it only seems natural that a vehicle named Lyric would be built just outside Nashville, Tennessee, the music city. It's going to be a good fit, and we are excited to bring this luxury product to our line. And we are ready for the opportunity to show the world what the future holds. On behalf of the rank and file of UAW Local 1853, again, thank you for this opportunity. And as Vice President Joe Biden said on March 23rd, 2010, this is a BFD, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Phil, Jeff, and Danny, and congratulations again on this great news. Now, these types of investments are not possible without great support and cooperation from all levels of government and our local communities. We appreciate, we appreciate the great support we get from everyone. At this time, we'll hear from some of those who continue to provide great support to GM here in Tennessee. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee, Murray County Mayor Andy Ogles, and Tennessee Commissioner of Economic and Community Development Bob Roth. Good morning and thank you for giving me the opportunity to be a part of this event. In Tennessee, we are proud of the number of major companies that call Tennessee home and one of those major companies is General Motors. We have had a long partnership and relationship, Tennessee and General Motors, for decades. One of my first jobs as governor was to welcome Mary Barra here and to announce an expansion in Tennessee. And here we are two years later, announcing a $2 billion investment by General Motors in Tennessee. Uh, we have had decades of investment by your company uh, but this one is important because it is the largest single expansion investment ever made in our state's history. Tennessee has a long history of being a leader in the automotive industry for decades. But now we have an opportunity to lead in new ways alongside with General Motors in the electric vehicle business. Uh, we are excited about the innovation that General Motors is bringing to Tennessee and the opportunity that it provides those of us here in this state. To the team members at General Motors, thank you. Thank you for your continued investment in our state. Thank you for creating thousands of jobs for Tennessee. We look forward uh, to producing the Cadillac Lyric, the all new electric Cadillac Lyric right here in Tennessee. Thank you. Over the last few months, I've had the privilege of working with our governor, commissioner, and our partners at General Motors on this project. As one of the key negotiators, I can tell you firsthand at how important this is not only for our community in Tennessee, but for all of North America. Located on I-65 between Nashville and Huntsville, Murray County serves as the central or as a central economic engine for the southeastern part of the United States for manufacturing, jobs, investment, and population. This partnership not only continues our legacy as a leader and as one of the best places to work and live, it also and importantly secures General Motors at the forefront and as an innovator in EV technology and furthers their mission for an all-electric, zero-emissions future. We are excited about this partnership and the leadership that GM is taking in this ever-evolving space. We're excited and we look forward to seeing you soon. 
Good morning from Nashville, Tennessee. 30 years ago, General Motors made its first investment in our state. And since 1996, has manufactured 4.5 million vehicles. And over the past 10 years, GM has invested $2.3 billion in Tennessee. Today marks a new milestone in our partnership with GM. Since the recent electric vehicle evolution, Tennessee has attracted $2.3 billion of capital across our state. And today, we welcome GM's new $2 billion investment. This investment reaffirms that Tennessee is open for business, employing 140,000 Tennesseans across 900 automotive suppliers. So on behalf of the Tennessee Department of Economic and Community Development, we say thank you. Thank you to General Motors, to 3,500 employees in Spring Hill, and to Murray County for a great partnership. Thanks to all who continued to support our operations here in Tennessee and who made this investment possible. We appreciate all you do. Now, to talk more about our investments in Michigan, it's my pleasure to send us north to Lansing, Michigan, where we're going to hear from GM Manufacturing Executive Director Deneen McDowell, Lansing Delta Township Plant Executive Director Sacha Verapanini, and UAW Local 602 Shop Chair Jeffrey Kozlowski, Jr. Deneen? Thank you, Pat. Hello from Lansing, Michigan. As Phil mentioned, production on the next generation of GMC Acadia is moving to GM's Lansing Delta Township Assembly Facility. It's a move that represents an investment of more than $100 million. The Acadia was born at Lansing Delta Township in 2006, and we are excited to welcome the next generation of this amazing product back home. As for the rest of our facility investments, they include $32 million at Flint Assembly to support production of future Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Sierra heavy duty trucks. Ever since their launch last year, they've been winning market share in the United States and Canada. And we're gonna make sure we have the capacity to support customer demand. We are also investing $17 million at our Romulus Michigan propulsion plant to increase production capacity for GM's 10 speed truck transmission, which is used in our full size pickup trucks. And the hot new full size SUV lineup, including the Chevy Tahoe, GMC Yukon, and Cadillac Escalade. Finally, we're making a $3.5 million investment at Orion Assembly in Michigan, along with $750,000 at GM's Brownstown Township, Michigan facility, all to support additional production of the Cruise AV test vehicle at Orion Assembly. This is an exciting day for the plants and for the state of Michigan. And I am confident these investments will go a long way to helping us work as one team to keep the customer at the center of everything we do. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce the Lansing Delta Township Plan Executive Director, Sacha Verapanini. Great, thank you, Deneen, thank you very much. This is an exciting day for everyone here at LDT. We look forward to bringing back the next generation Acadia back to our assembly line. Today's investment announcement will make a big impact and it is exciting for LDT to be on the list of facilities contributing to those numbers. This $100 million investment in LDT represents lots of confidence in our men and women at LDT. I'm extremely proud of the entire workforce of their hard work. We are committed to offer our customers great quality, performance, technology, and value they can find nowhere else. All of our employees have played a significant role in success and accomplishments of this plan. Today's announcement represents a commitment for GM future, future of this facility, and the community that supports us. Now I would like to introduce the local 6002 chairman, Jeff Kozlowski. Thank you, Sasha. Good morning, 602. It is with the highest honor to stand before you today on behalf of your shop committee and your entire local leadership to deliver this much anticipated and well-deserved news. General Motors has made huge commitments and investments at our facilities over the years. We have continued to receive great products here at LDT because of the quality of work always performed by the Lansing workforce. 
The real stars here are the employees who put the parts on the car and work on the plant floor every day. This plant has proven time and time again that there is no better place to build a world-class vehicle than LDT assembly. Lastly, none of this would be possible without the tremendous effort, dedication, and sacrifice of everyone. We have a great history of building award-winning vehicles, and with this announcement, all of us should be proud to continue those traditions into the future. Thank you all, and God bless. In solidarity, your shop chairman. Back to you, Pat. Thanks to the team in Lansing and congratulations. And congratulations to all of our Michigan operations who are part of today's news. Now we get great support in Michigan, our home state, from all levels of government and throughout all of our plant communities in the state. We'll hear now from a few who have been big supporters of our efforts throughout the state and in specifically in the Lansing area. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer and Lansing Mayor Andy Shore. Today is a great day for the hardworking people in Michigan. We're proud to see continued investment in our state. Companies like General Motors recognize what we know, that we have the greatest workers in the world, building the greatest vehicles. Just last week, we watched as General Motors renamed its historic Detroit Hamtramck assembly plant to Factory Zero, symbolizing the company's commitment to building zero emissions vehicles right here in the heart of Detroit. With a $2.2 billion investment, General Motors is creating 2,200 jobs, building the vehicles of the future. Vehicles like the GMC Hummer EV, which I hear we'll get to see later tonight. And today, I'm so proud to join General Motors as they announce investments of more than $100 million in Michigan across five plants, including Lansing Delta Township, Flint, Romulus, Orion, and Brownstown Township. Not only are these investments for the future electric and autonomous vehicles, but they are investments in the vehicles that many people are driving today, like the full-size pickups and SUVs. So thank you to General Motors for being a great partner, and thank you for all of your workers who are dedicated to building these great cars. I'm Lansing Mayor Andy Shore. I'm extremely proud of the deep partnership between the City of Lansing and General Motors, and I'm thrilled that part of the Michigan investment is to bring the GMC Acadia back home to Lansing. So welcome home, Acadia. We missed you. It'll be great to have you back. We're fortunate to have two General Motors assembly plants and two stamping plants here at Lansing Delta and Lansing Grand River, which between them employ over 4,500 people. These are good-paying UAW jobs with the exciting responsibility of building some of the best vehicles this country has to offer. We know how much value our people bring to GM, and we appreciate GM's consistent presence in the community. I look forward to this newest investment of more than $100 million in Lansing and the opportunities that it will undoubtedly bring to our city. Thanks again to all those across the state of Michigan who continue to support us day in and day out. Before we close things out, once again, it's my pleasure to introduce Gerald Johnson for some final thoughts. So I just want to thank you all for coming together to help us celebrate this exciting news. All together, the investments we've discussed today total more than $2 billion among six facilities, pushing General Motors investments in its U.S. manufacturing sites to more than $29 billion since 2009. We couldn't have done any of it without our manufacturing teams. Teams that build the most American contented vehicles in the industry, according to two recent independent studies. That bears repeating, our teams build the most American contented vehicles in the industry. I'm proud of that, and we should all be proud of that. We're at a historic moment in time for the industry and for General Motors, and our employees' contributions have never been more crucial. We are all living through one of the greatest technological revolutions in history, affecting every aspect of our lives, from dining and shopping to travel and entertainment. And as we work towards an electric future, and the seismic shift coming in personal transportation, General Motors is ready for it all, and I'm confident our manufacturing team will continue to adapt and thrive. It's a big change. It's an important change because it will save lives, save the planet, and save time. We'll reach that future together, building these new products as one team, one that is built to win. What won't change, however, is our focus on our customers and the commitment our plant communities here in the United States. They're at the core of what we do, and they're why we're making the investments I shared with you today. Thank you for joining us today, 
and for being part of this great day for General Motors and for our U.S. manufacturing team. Thank you again for joining us today. We appreciate all the support of our employees and everyone in the extended GM family. Now that concludes our program. Thank you very much for listening. Stay safe. And guys, why don't we come on up and take a close look at all the right. car. Okay. Thank you.